Okay, ladies, so we are going to be doing the 12 circuits again, 40 seconds each exercise. But for the first round of the 12 exercise, I did give myself 20 seconds in between to show you the exercises. Uh, the next, the last two rounds, so we got 10 seconds. So it's a quick transition from one exercise to the next. We're gonna keep those heart rates up. First one, we're not gonna need dumbbells for the first exercise. We're gonna do rocket squats. One of Larry's that I learned from him, you squat down three times. One, two, three, shoot it up. One, two, three, rock it up. One, two, three, up. Okay, that's our first one. And then for this first three exercises, we'll need a little bit, uh, uh, like one dumbbell heavier or two lighter dumbbells, but not for this first exercise. For the next three after that. Four, three, two, one. Okay, next so is round one. Exercise for 40 seconds. One, two, three, up. One, two, three, up. One, two, three. You don't want to jump, you just go up to your toes, low impact. Up. Get nice and low in those squats, get nice and low. Looks like somebody in the waiting room, Larry. I got him. Let him in. <laughs> I'm going to miss out on this one. I know. One, two, three. How low can you get that booty? One, two, three. Up. Last off. Last three. off. Five, four, three, two, one. Take rest right. for 20 seconds. Grab a heavier dumbbell or two lighter dumbbells. We're going to do it. Like you're a granny person bowling, bring it up over your head into a tricep press. Down, up, elbows in, extend. Five, four, three, two, one. There we go, squat down. Exercise for 40 up. seconds. Triceps. All right, when you're, doing the, when you're doing the triceps, make sure those arms start straight up over your head, finish the tricep, and then bend again. So finish that tricep all the way up, and then back down again. There we go, that's better. Now try to touch that dumbbell right down to your back. All the way. And by the way, what do you mean granny bowling? This is the way I bowl. Granny. You know, you bowl with the hand bowl. <laughs> I'm just saying, why, why are you calling granny bowling? Because I do it. That, that's, that's, that's how I go. <laughs> Next, we're going to stir the pot lunges. So we're, we're going to have our feet hip distance apart. We're going to turn to one side, lunge down, drop that back knee, pull the dumbbell to your waist, stretch it out to the other side. Five, four. Ooh, let's work those legs this morning. One. Exercise for 40 seconds. I don't know why stir the pot always makes me think of which is cauldrons. Makes me want to sing my Halloween song. Stirring and stirring and stirring my brew. Ooh. <laughs> All right, it's Freaky Friday. Get that nice back knee nice and low. Extend those arms right up, right up there when you're doing the twist. Extend those arms. There we go. Nice. Five, four, three, two, one. Take rest for 20 Next seconds. one is going to be a curtsy lunge into a halo. So we're bringing the dumbbell to the hip. When we stand up, dumbbell comes to one ear, drop behind your head to the other ear, curtsy to the other side, bring Five, it to the hip. Four, three, two, one. Exercise for 40 seconds. To your ear. Around behind your head to the other ear, curtsy to the other side. Once you get the hang of it, you can go a little bit faster, but keep it nice and controlled. Do that full motion. Well, yeah, nice job with that. Your shoulder's not bothering you. Doing okay? Five, four, three, two, one. Take rest for 20 seconds. All right. Now we need two heavier dumbbells, two heavier moderate, three heavy dumbbells. Nice wide stance. We're going to do alternating lunges side to side with bicep curls. And we're going to keep the arms 
90 degrees. Don't drop them down all the way. Exercise for 40 seconds. So right leg, right arm curled. Left leg, left arm curls. Those weights are going up and make sure, make sure those weights don't fall below 90 degrees. So keep them up higher. A lot of them are dropping. Start with your weights at waist at uh, pillow of the ground. Copa, you don't let the weights go down your hips. They're only going down halfway. Keeping those biceps tight. Five, four, three, two, one. Take rest for 20 seconds. All right, we're gonna move on to windmills. So one toe is pointed to the side, the other toe is forward. Dumbbell over the head. I'm gonna slide down that front leg. If you need to bend the knee a little, you can. When we come up, Five, I'm gonna have you lift forward with the palms three, facing the ceiling. Two, one. So we're gonna get a little chest work. Exercise again. for 40 seconds. Slide down, lift up. Keep that back Up nice and straight when you're doing right the bend. That shoulder. It's not a bicep curl. That arm's coming out straight out in front of you. Carolyn, watch your shoulder too, right? Yeah. That's fine. You can just drop that hand down if you need to. Yeah. You need to just hold the dumbbell at your shoulder. You can do it that way. Yeah, just drop it down. Don't don't mess with the shoulder. Three, two, one. Take rest for 20 seconds. And we're switching sides. So other toe, little angle. Other toe is facing forward. Straight arm up over your head. Keep that locked in. Turn your palm forward on that bottom arm. Slide Five, down your foot. Three, Come up. Two, lift forward. One. Exercise for 40 seconds. Touch it down, up, straight arm lift. Working that chest and the shoulder at the same time. Duane, when you're doing the lift in front, it's not a bicep curl, it's a straight arm. Straight arm coming out. Oh. Ooh, it's like so much harder for me. Remember, you can bend that front knee if you need to. Five, four, three, two, one. Two. Take rest for 20 seconds. All right, keep those heavy dumbbells. I'm going to go into the bent that over row. That's tight, chest back. Just don't let your shoulders hunch forward. Pull those shoulders back. And elbows in and up. Five, four, three, two, one. All right, here we go. <laughs> Exercise for 40 seconds. <laughs> What the heck, Terry? It's an exercise with one movement? That's weird. What's happening? <laughs> I said I'm not moving. You're doing an exercise with just one thing going on. <laughs> I know. I changed it a little bit. I did have a moving one. Squeeze those shoulder blades, everybody. Get those elbows nice and high. Big squeeze. Pull those things right up. Drive those elbows up, doing great. Five, four, three, two, one. Take rest for 20 seconds. All right, bring those dumbbells right down to the mat. We're gonna do side leg raises. We're gonna be up in a one knee, one hand prop position. So it's not quite a plank. If you wanna make it more advanced, you can take it to a plank position. Five, We're gonna lift that top leg. Three, two, in. one. Keep the toe Exercise pointed forward. Exercise for 40 seconds. Again, the modified version up here so that your hips are over your knee and you don't have all that pressure on your shoulder. Really focus on the outside of those hips. So elbows coming to your hip when your legs are coming up. So elbow down while the leg comes up. There we go. Five, four, three, two, one. Take rest for 20 seconds. Switch sides. Oh, 
Really, I think you get the opposite leg down on the ground, I think. It's hard, it's hard to see. Hard. So the bottom leg is down on your knee. Five, four, three, two, one. There we go. Yep, that looks good. And leg, just try to just try to just do a leg raise, barrel if you can. Forget about the arm so much. There you go. Great. Just like that. That looks good. Oh, shoulder. And we're trying to raise those legs up just straight up. It's not an it's not a knee to elbow, it's legs going straight up. Yep. The arm isn't doing a whole lot. I mean, we're working the lats a little bit. Five, Focus should four, be on those hips. Three, two, one. Take rest for 20 seconds. All right, we're gonna lie down on our back and do a chest press into a crunch. So grab those heavy dumbbells that you brought over. We're gonna put our legs up in the air. You do chest press, shoulders up. Four, Come back down and do three, a chest press. Two, one. Exercise for 40 seconds. Crunch and down. Chest press, crunch and down. Oh, everybody's doing great. This looks good. You need to bend those knees, so keep that back flat. Go ahead and bend the knees. Five, really four, squeeze that back down in the mat when you're doing that crunch. One. Take rest for 20 seconds. All right, last one. Wow, it's already over. Reverse crunch. Reverse crunch, we're gonna lift those hips up and bring them down. Lift them up. Notice I'm not flinging them up, I'm holding them at the top. I'm not trying to keep it nice and controlled. Last exercise for 40 seconds. Lift up and down. Modified version, keep those knees bent and just try to get the knees into the chest Lifting the tailbone up a little bit. You can get them up high, get them up high now. Get a minute rest after this, so work as hard as you can. Five, four, three, two, one. Woo! -hoo! Rest for one minute. All right, sweatshirt's coming off. Get a drink. And since it's Freaky Friday, we're going to do the same exercises but in reverse. So we're going to start back on that mat and that reverse crunch right back into it. <laughs> Woohoo! Now's your chance to go get some heavier dumbbells for your chest press. I know you got them. <laughs> get your 20s, get your 30s. Oh, now we're talking. <laughs> Don't fall asleep. I know I let you stay on the ground, but no sleeping. Starting with those reverse crunches again. If you weren't tired that first set, make sure you get tired the second set. Five, four, three, two. Hands one. by those hips. Next is second round. Lift it up. Exercise for 40 seconds. Try not to use momentum. Remember to hold that up in the air a second before you yeah, come down. I was going to say, try to, try to hold that crunch up there for just a half a second. Feel the squeeze, lift, and hold, and then back. Lift, hold, and back. Whew. Nice, 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 nice. Ten right. for ten seconds. Going into our chest presses, so grab those heavy dumbbells. Five. Legs up. Three. Two. One. 
Arms up. Exercise for 40 seconds. Crunch. Rest. Crunch. Rest. Deep breathing. Exhale on the way up. Inhale on the way down. When you're doing that crunch, make sure that you get a feeling you're pushing your lower back right into the mat. <clears throat> Suck the belly button down. Definitely feel these more in the abs now after doing those reverse crunches twice. You got four in a row. Five, four. It's the ab blast. Two, one. Take rest for 10 seconds. All right, those side leg lifts. Five. Get the plank or straight arm position. Two. Whatever you, one, works for you. Exercise for 40 seconds. And lift that leg up, down. If you want to add the arm, add the arm. Knee and toe pointed forward. So try to keep your body in alignment. You're not doing a crunch, you're not bending at the hips to come to your knee. Really focus on just getting that leg raised. Four, three, two, one. Take rest for 10 seconds. Other side, switch it quick. Five, four, three, two, one. Exercise for 40 seconds. That leg going, all right? And if you want, you can add the arm. Looking great, everybody. Awesome. Keep it up. Those legs straight. Five, four, yeah. three, two, one. Ooh. Take rest for 10 seconds. All right, grab those dumbbells. Come up for the bent over rows. Five, four, Ooh. three, two, one. Just in time. Exercise for 40 seconds. Can do a split stance if that's better for your back. One foot in front of the other. Pull and those elbows those up. Elbows together in the back as you come up. Drive the elbows up. Squeeze those shoulder blades. Elbows are coming nice up. Long. Not out wide. Shoulders stay low. Four, three, two. Take rest for 10 seconds. Windmills. Got that one foot pointed out to the side. Five, Opposite arm is up. Four, Palms forward on that low leg. Two, one. Exercise down. for 40 seconds. Come up, straight arm lift. Down. Straight arm lift. Make sure that palm stays to the ceiling for the lift. Really working hard, that upper arm that's pointing to the ceiling, yeah, you're really working hard not to let it drop down lower by your side as you Five, drop lower along your leg. Three, two, one. Take rest for 10 seconds. Side. Five. Four, three, two, if it, one. If it bothers your shoulder, don't even put that arm up high. Just keep it low.
Keep breathing. Take rest for 10 seconds. We got our lunges with the bicep curls. Get those legs wide. Five, four, Start with the arms. Three, Hands at the belly button level. Don't let them drop below there. Exercise for 40 seconds. Lunge, curl right. Lunge, curl left. Yep, don't let those weights drop. Watch the knees. Make sure your hips go back so your knees don't come forward over your toes. Yep, your first movement is actually sliding your butt back a little bit. So you're not just going forward over those knees. Five, four, three, two, one. Take rest for 10 seconds. All right, losing one of your dumbbells. We do our curtsy halo Five, squat. Four, three. Starting your curtsy one. on one side. Exercise for 40 seconds. Twist to that side, step to the center. Bring the dumbbell to the ear, behind your head to the other ear, curtsy to the other side. Down low, cross your body, swing it around behind, curtsy. Keep that chest tall on the curtsy, legs low. Get that full range with the halo. So get it right by the ear. That's where you start. Behind and then to the other ear. Four, three, two, one. Take rest for 10 Start the pop lunges. Start with that dumbbell at your belly. Down on the lunge on one side. Three, We're gonna two, straighten out in the lunge, straighten the arms, switch to the other side. Exercise for 40 seconds. That barrel turn all the way around. So your arms go out, turn all the way around facing the other way. You're shifting weight from one foot to the other. <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> yeah, out and out again, turn the other way. There you go, right there. You got it. Get that knee an inch from the floor. Five, four, nice and low. Take rest for 10 seconds. All right, bowling over the head. Five, four, three, two, one. Exercise for 40 seconds. And on this one, when you do the triceps, make sure you start with your hands way up high, triceps below, behind your back, uh, behind, <laughs> drive, can't talk, behind your head, and then finish that tricep. Go up high before you drop down again. So don't cheat on the tricep. One, two, three, four. There you go. One, two, three, four. Five, four, three, two, one. Take rest right. for 10 seconds. We got the rocket squats. Free Counts down, one count, shoot it up. Three, Woo. two, one. Ready, here we go. Last exercise for 40 seconds. Down, 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 up, down, 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 up, down, 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 up, down, 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 up. Make, make sure you're uh, going down back on your legs. You're not, at the very end, you're not really just bending your back. It's all in the legs. So the legs are dropping each, your hips, are, God, words are failing me today. Your butt's dropping down the whole time. Like the gorilla stance. Five, four, three, two, one. Whew. Rest for one minute. All right, that's round two done. Way to go. You get to start back at those rocket squats. Head way back down again. Whew. Take out those arms, take out those legs. Deep breaths, get ready to do it all over. 
Feeling good? Thumbs up, everybody. Hey. We have eight seconds to go. Walk around, keep that body moving. Just a little bit. Get the dumbbells out of the way so we don't trip on them. So those rocket squats, those squats, your chest stays up. You have to bend forward a little bit, but it really looks like a gorilla pose. Chest is up, knuckles dragging. Like you're looking forward at me. Next is last round. Exercise for 40 seconds. Chest up, look at me, down, two, three, shoot up. Down, two, three, shoot up. Down, two, three, shoot it up. Down, two, three, shoot it up. Down, two, three, up. Down, two, three. Whoo! Feeling that burn in the quads. Anybody else? Everybody's doing great. Five. Four, One more. Three, two. <sighs> One, nice. Rest for 10 seconds. All right, bowling up to triceps. Remember, four distinct Five, positions. Four, Squeeze those glutes on the way up. Looks good again. When you're dropping in this one, it's your, you're dropping into a squat. You're not bending your back. Use those legs. Five, four, three, two, one. Take rest for 10 seconds. All right, we got stirring the pot. When you stir the pot, your arms are straight. Five, four, three, two. Start on that right side lunge. Exercise for 20 seconds. Stretch it out, stir to the other side. Up, pull, up, pull in. There you go, looking good. Again, drop nice and low in that lunge. Get that back knee down. It's your last round. Give it all you got. Nice and low. Ooh, it's going fast. Ten seconds left of this one. Five, four, three, two, one. Take Ooh. rest for ten seconds. Curtsy halo chop. So let's get in that curtsy position. Five, four, in by the hip. Three, two, one. Exercise for 40 seconds. Come out to the ear, behind the head, to the ear, towards the other side. Ear, back, ear, down. Ear, back, ear, down. I'm gonna make it a little harder, keeping a squat in the center. Your legs can do it. Oh, great job. Oh, burn those halos, ladies. Four, three, two, one. Take rest for 10 seconds. Lunge with the biceps, so grab the other dumbbell. Five, four, three, two. Legs wide. One. Exercise and, for 40 seconds. Hands rib cage level, belly button level. To the right, curl. To the left, curl halfway down. Don't let those dumbbells drop. Keep those arms at parallel. Great job. Elbows you take your body. And speed it up with me. Elbows right by their cage. Five, four, three, two, one. Whew. Rest for ten seconds. Windmill position. 
Front foot is up, out to the side a little. Opposite hand is up in the air. Bottom hand, palms forward, slide down to the side. For 40 seconds. Bring it up, straight arm lift. Slide down, lift it up. Really tight core on that slide down. Get the obliques, the shoulders, the lats. They're all holding and stabilizing that dumbbell at the top. Nice job. That arm up straight and again. Whew. Your range of motion might be just a mid calf, that's fine. Five, four, three, two, one. Take rest for 10 seconds. Other side. Switch feet. Five, four, three. Bottom palms two, forward. One. Exercise for 40 seconds. Oh. Take those shoulders if you need to. Very good. You guys look good. From what I can see, you look good. Look like little Lego people in my screen. <laughs> little chicklets. A lot of control in this one all the way. Control down, control up. Three, two, one. Take rest for 10 seconds. All right, two dumbbells bent over rows. You can have your split stance, the feet together, three, hip hinge. Two, Suck that belly in, bring those shoulders back before you start. For 40 seconds. Keep those shoulders back. And you see some elbows up high behind your back, squeezing the elbows together. Press. Imagine there's an imaginary ball on your back and you're squeezing the ball together as you lift the elbows. Looking good. Get up, get those elbows high. Five, four, three, two, one. Rest for 10 seconds. All right, down to the mat for our side leg lifts. Side leg lifts coming up. Side leg lifts. Side for 40 seconds. So the easier option is keeping the knee underneath the hip. The best option, get into a side plank. And get those legs going. If you can get the legs going controlled, then you can have the arm in. If your shoulder's really killing you and you need to drop all the way to the floor, drop to the floor, just do those side leg lifts. Try to keep that shoulder right over the wrist. Feel it in those hip adductors. Side leg, right here. Three, two, Ooh. Take rest for 10 seconds. Switch it up. Other side, get in that position. Five, four, three, two, one. Exercise for 40 seconds. Make sure you have the legs going. Add the arm if you want. So. Yep. Those legs up. <laughs> there we go. Nice job. Ready to keep that leg nice and straight. <clears throat> oh, definitely feel it on the bottom leg on that second set. Three, two. One. Take rest for 10 seconds. Down your backs, chest press crunch. Get those heavy dumbbells. Five, four, three, two, one. Legs up in the air. Exercise for 40 seconds. Chest press crunch. Oh, I got dumbbells in the way. Try to get those shoulders up as high as you can, but make sure you do the full range of motion with those arms. Again, push that lower back into the mat, suck your belly button down. Feel that crunch at the top. 
hold for half a second. Nice. Five, four, three. And those elbows down, doing the chest press too. Chest. All right, remember our scrunches and we're done. Keep that focus. Nice controlled three, movements. Two, one. Last exercise for 40 seconds. Push those toes to the sky. Unless you're doing the modified version, which is well, you're still still with the sky, just bent knees. Ooh. Five, four, three, two, one. Oh, nice. Long circuits finished. Nice job, ladies. Stretch those legs out, stretch those hands out. Take a deep breath. If you need to grab a drink, grab a drink. We're going to go right into stretching. The first time I've seen your new friend, Carolyn. Carolyn has a puppy friend licking her face. <laughs> Let's tuck the knees into the chest. Just do little circles with the knees. Opening up that lower back, letting it relax. Recovery breathing, exhale, long, long exhales, inhale, deep back, inhale. Circle the legs the other way around. And we're gonna roll over onto one side, facing me, let your head just rest on your arm. Straighten the top leg out. We're gonna bend that knee in toward our bum. Grab a hold of the ankle, the shin, whatever you can grab, and pull it backwards. So you feel a stretch for the front of that thigh from the knee all the way up into the hip flexors. You want to think of the hips pushing forward with the knee pushing backward. Zip. Now take that knee that's on top and just bring it forward so it's in front of your body. Let the knee come to the floor. And we're going to take that top arm, reach it across the body, stretch out as far as you can. You feel a stretch in the shoulder. You might not be able to get the back flat because we're keeping that front knee down. So your arm should be able to lower down and stretch out the front of that chest. We got too many dumbbells. And relax that low back, let the tension leave. And just lift that knee up, turn it up to the ceiling, low back on the floor, bring that knee into the chest and stretch the leg up. Hamstring stretch, point the toes down. You feel a stretch go deeper into the leg when you point those toes down. To release it, you point the toes up. Flex it down again. Relax the toes. And flex them down and hold it. A little closer. And just kind of slide that leg side to side, cross it over your body a little bit, open it up to the other side, cross it over your body, open to the other side, nice smooth controlled movements. Let's just hold it across the body a little bit, you should feel that more on the outside of the glutes, outside of the hip. Open it out to the side, hold it out to the side a little bit, getting more into the inner thigh. 
area. And then bring it back to the center. Just kind of rock side to side. I'm going to swing my body around so I can show you the other side. You're going to roll over onto your side. Straighten the bottom leg out. Let your head rest down on your top arm. Pull that back leg or the top leg up to the back. Press that knee backward and the hip forward. Elongating the front of that thigh. To bring that knee down to the floor. Take that top arm, and stretch it out, open up to the back of the room as far as your arm will go. If your arm goes to the ground, great. You got to keep that knee down in front. I'll be able to a good spinal twist, stretching the torso and in the front of that shoulder and the chest. Breathe into the tight spots. Time to let go. And bring the knee into the chest, roll it onto your back. Tuck that knee in and hold it there. Flatten out that back. And straighten that leg up to the ceiling, extending through the hamstring and the calf. Point the toe up to the ceiling. Flex it down. When you flex it, you should feel that stretch go deeper. Point it up. Flex it. Point it up, and we're going to flex it and hold it. Pull it in a little closer. And then gently slide it over toward the, away from the chest, and then across the chest, side to side, across the body. We're going to move it over across the body and hold it there. The outside of that hip, the IT band, all the outside of that top leg. We'll take it up to the outside, open the leg out a little bit, feel the inner thigh stretch a little more, inner hip. And bring those feet up to the center, bend the knees, we're going to reach for the in step of the, the feet, then the knees out. A little happy baby, rock side to side. We all happy? Let that lower back loosen up a little bit more. Just hold it still in the center. Release that lower back as much as you can right here. And bring the knees together, rock and roll all the way up to a sitting position, all the way up, sit up nice and tall, cross one foot over the other or whatever is comfortable for you, and we're going to take the hands on the knees, we're going to lean back, round out the belly button, tuck the chin down, stretch that lower, or that upper back, back of the neck, 
And then come all the way up, stick the chest out, pull backwards on your knees so you're opening up the front body. Sit back into it again. Belly button sucks in, chin drops to the chest. Lift it up, stick the chest out, pull backwards on those knees. And then just do little circles. Round and around, letting that body adjust to that position. And the other way around. And hopefully that will help you sit up a little bit taller while we do our shoulder stretch, cross one arm in front of the body. Pull that elbow in toward your chest. Stretching out the back of the shoulder here. And other side, cross it in front of the body, pull that elbow in, keep the shoulder low, don't let it come up here, keep it down low. You're stretching on the direct back part of the shoulder. And stretch up over the head, palms to the ceiling, reach over to the right, lift up to that left, Shoulder, reaching to the corner of the ceiling, you can grab that wrist and pull it a little further, stretching out the lats. And over to the other side, push that right arm to the left corner, up and out. And take a deep breath, inhale up here. Exhale, bring the hands down. Great job, you made it. And for the weekend, happy Mother's Day to everybody. It's gonna be a gorgeous day on Sunday, so get out there. Get past the snow on Saturday.